Located in India's heartland, in the state of Madhya Pradesh, lies the forested district of Mandla, a predominantly tribal region home to the Gond and Baiga communities. Flanked by the Satpura mountain range, Mandla is in the watershed region between eastern and western India, resulting in a distinct topography of hillocks, plateaus and grasslands. Collection and sale of forest produce generates a majority of the household income in these parts, along with traditional farming methods to cultivate minor millets, cereals, and in recent years, rice and wheat. The Gond and Baiga communities in Mandla have been consuming millets like Kodo and Kutki for generations. Still, many have shifted to rice consumption because of government subsidized rates and a preference for rice among the younger generation. Incidentally, grains like kodo and kutki are said to possess the highest drought resistance among all minor millets, along with a rich nutritional value and a low environmental impact, making them a great food source. With this backdrop, the United Nations General Assembly has declared 2023 to be the International Year of Millets, to promote the climate resilience of millets and their importance towards food security. The risks and impacts of cultivating water-intensive crops like rice and wheat in these parts of the country are plenty. An analysis by experts shows a decreasing rainfall trend in the seasons after monsoons, which leads to dry conditions and droughts in the region. Water-intensive crops, such as rice and wheat, will only exacerbate this issue due to their high carbon footprint. Moreover, the soil quality in Manla is not suitable for rice cultivation, leading to a poor yield. दुविधा ये है कि मतलब सही बीज नहीं मिल पाता जैसे उत्पादन कम होता है और उसका रख रखाव का और उचित मूल 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 भी नहीं मिल पाता उसका और शहरों में हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि मतलब कोदो कुटकी से अनेक प्रकार की अच्छी अच्छी भाईटी के यानी बहुत कीमती चीज बनाया जाता है और हमारे पास ये संसाधन नहीं है ये तो हम लोग पूर्वजों से कर रहे हैं उसके पहले तो हम लोगों का खेत एकदम यानी समतल टाइप का था यानी किसी प्रकार से उनमें सुधार नहीं हुआ था गरीबी की वजह से अब अभी अभी सरकार थोड़ा सा मदद कर रहा है जिससे मतलब मेड़ बंधन बन रहे हैं द क्लाइमेट अडेप्टेशन एंड फाइनेंस इन रूरल इंडिया कैफ्री प्रोजेक्ट इज रनिंग अंडर इंडो जर्मन डेवलपमेंट कोऑपरेशन विद नाबार्ड द नेशनल बैंक फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट टू मेन स्ट्रीम क्लाइमेट अडेप्टेशन फाइनेंस एंड क्लाइमेट रेजिलियंट फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिस at local levels across India. In Mandla, the Kafri Nabad project is making an attempt to help farmers move away from water-intensive, high-carbon footprint crops like rice and wheat and promote minor millets like kodo and kutki, which have been traditionally grown in these parts of the country. The project helps farmers increase the processing capacity of kodo and kutki while also tackling key bottlenecks in the minor millet value chain through an inclusive process. Farmers, farmer producer organizations and other support organizations like the Reliance Foundation and Sarda collectively work on solutions that could help local farmers go back to growing minor millets and take pride in their traditional food sources. These interventions through the Kafri Nabat project have led to a resurgence of interest in growing kodo and kutki 
in the Mandla region. The project is focusing on supporting locals to gain the nutritious and economic benefits of minor millets. Most importantly, local communities in Mandla are rediscovering a sense of pride in reviving minor millets as part of their indigenous food culture. Yeah,